want to remind you from my first pressure tip that pressure affects all athletes negatively, even world-class athletes. It tenses you up and it hurts your ability to think strategically. If you want to perform better, you want to minimize those effects, right? So why do us athletes feel pressure in the first place? What is pressure and where does it come from? Simply put, as human beings, we attach more meaning, more importance on certain events than other events in our life. Now, here's a simple example in sports. A baseball pitcher throwing a ball in practice is not near as important as throwing the same ball from the same distance and for the same purpose at the end of a close competitive game. Now the act is the exact same in both instances. One event just has much more meaning and importance to the player, right? You're with me. Okay, so logically, if we could reduce the meaning or importance of the event, then we would reduce the pressure, right? And we would perform better. So how do we do that? Well, we take advantage of a little psychological trick called comparisons. This is something that you already do very well. Everybody does. And it's a powerful function of your mind that can be used to overcome pressure. Here's what I mean. You might think that a rock the size of a car is big, right? But put it next to a meteor hurtling down towards Earth. And that makes that car-sized rock insignificant in comparison now, doesn't it? So what we want to do is to reduce the meaning of the important event in competition by thinking of something much more important and with much more meaning. This makes the pressure so much smaller and your body will respond to that thinking by relaxing some. Now in real life competition, when feeling pressure, here's what you do. You remind yourself that in the big picture of your life, that this pitch, this serve, this shot, this kick, is really next to nothing. Because your life is so much more meaningful and important than this event. Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks had one of the most pressure-packed situations ever in sports at the 2015 Super Bowl on his last play. Here's what he said just days before the game. Football doesn't define me. My faith is the number one thing in my life. Can you see how one play, even in the biggest game on earth, is still not as meaningful to Wilson as his faith? It makes that one play less pressured for him than if he didn't make that comparison or didn't have that comparison to start with. Now I'm sure he thinks of this every day, which is why he also said, I never play scared, never have, never will. That's what you want. Now you may say I picked a bad example because he ended up choking and his team lost. That's beside the point. Sports has its ups and downs, and reducing your pressure doesn't guarantee success. But I promise you, though, he got to where he is because he knows how to handle the pressure. He's done it so many times. For you, at the moment of pressure and competition, find something that is more important or meaningful than this event and compare it. And do this before you ever get there. Remember tip number one? Prepare for how you're going to think at the moment of pressure. Prepare your mind in advance this way. Maybe you think about, you know, a loved one. Maybe you think about your purpose in life. Or your ultimate career beyond sports. Or how about a game or a match coming up that's even more important than this one? There's always something more important to direct your mind to, compare to, to reduce the pressure in this moment. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer.